I'm Kevin Penbos. I serve as pastor at Unity Lutheran Church in the Greater Milwaukee Synod, located in the Bayview neighborhood of Milwaukee. I've been discipled first by my parents and my uh, church growing up, for sure. Uh, and then uh, a big impact on me was a camp counselor I had when I was in confirmation. Uh, his name was Brian, and uh, Brian just showed me by his example, uh, his enthusiasm for his faith and following Jesus each and every day, like what it can really look like just to, to be a person who uh, wakes up each morning just looking for God's presence and, and how to be a servant for the Lord and just the excitement and, and joy that he found in doing that was contagious for me. Uh, and then all the way through adulthood from uh, college through present years, I've found different people to disciple me. Uh, sometimes seeking them out, sometimes looking for mentors, other times uh, creating covenants for coaching that were more formal. But either way, just always seeking people out in my congregation and beyond uh, who could mentor me and walk with me. To be a disciple means to be a follower uh, in the sense of a lifelong learner, but not learning like we do in a classroom where we have an expert at the front of the class uh, giving us information for our brains, but rather a lifelong learner like an apprentice who walks alongside and follows a master to take on the master's competencies and character in order to be for the, com the community who that master is. And so as a disciple of Jesus, my master is Jesus and I seek to follow him in his mission, uh, wherever uh, the Father sends him to uh, reconcile heaven and earth through the gift of the Holy Spirit, I, I look to show up there. And as, as a disciple, my job description is simply to, to show up where Jesus is calling me. Um, so to follow him, I, I think of three things. I have to see him, so i got to be looking. In my daily life, in the relationships, in the world around me, I've got to be looking for, for Jesus doing his mission. Secondly, then, once I see that, I have to do that with him. Participate, be a servant. And then thirdly, I invite others to participate alongside with me, so that as I am a follower, a disciple, I'm also giving witness and, and giving credit where credit is due in, in ways that invites others to join in the mission and to mentor them as, as we journey together. I would encourage anyone who wants to go deeper in their faith and wants to explore more what it is, this life of discipleship, to get connected with mentors, either sojourners along the way who are in a Bible study or a small group ministry with you or a discipleship coaching covenant with you, whatever it, it might be, um, because how Christ does his mission is by forming the community around him to give witness to what he's doing. And so we can't do it alone. We need to do it in community. No one is strong enough or capable on their own but to, to be a disciple. Uh, it's the work of the Holy Spirit through us, and we need to stay connected to that community formed uh, in, in God's Word and in the Holy Sacrament, that the Holy Spirit works through God's people to encourage us, to strengthen us, to forgive us, to reconcile us, to equip us, uh, ultimately to share God's life with the world around us. So I encourage everyone to get connected and, and open yourselves up to being a lifelong learner and, and learning through the community with other disciples. I keep myself rooted as a disciple by staying connected to the community of Jesus' church very intimately. Um, of course, Sunday worship, uh, I see the life of discipleship as living out my worship, and so the Worship on Sunday is both the source and the goal 
of all that we do as disciples of the Lord. But then also I, I stay connected in small group ministries at our church, they're called journey groups. I stay connected through one-on-one -on -one discipleship coaching, finding that mentor who can share with me in my journey and help me to see the Lord's presence at times where I might not be seeing him might be able to guide me in how to, to share my experiences of following the Lord with other people, how to invite others to participate. So I'm always being coached, I'm always being mentored, I'm always being you know, equipped and supported and encouraged by disciples around me through Bible studies and journey groups discipleship coaching.